Hi lovelies, it's Erica with the Beauty Buff and welcome back to my channel. If you enjoy a channel full of beauty, fashion, and lifestyle, then please consider subscribing below. Hit that notification bell so you won't miss any future uploads. Give this video a thumbs up and then also comment down below and let me know if you enjoyed it or not. On this channel, we just like to relax and let loose and get away from the everyday grind. So if you will with me, taking a good deep breath, exhale, and let's get to this video. On today's video, I'm going to be taking this opportunity to fuse two of my passions that I share, beauty and healthcare. Many of you probably know because I think I've mentioned it in a few videos that I am a nurse. I'm a nurse practitioner and I work in healthcare. I enjoy healthcare and I've been doing it for many years. And as some of you may know, if not all, this month is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And I just want to take out the time to actually recommend and encourage you women to do self breast exams, to go in and get your mammograms done. It's really important that you do all you can to educate yourself and be self aware. Self breast exams has been like 40% of the diagnosis of breast cancer. So it's really important that you do your monthly self breast exams. You know your body, you know your breasts. So once a month you go into the shower and you do your self breast exam. You just take your three fingers, use the palm of your fingers. You press lightly to medium firm pressure. And then you just start from your armpits and then you can either go in circles or you can go up and down. And then you apply pressure and you're just feeling for any changes, any changes in your breasts at all. Any lumps, any hardness, any um, dimples, anything that you haven't seen from month to month. And if you do see those changes, then you make an appointment with your doctor and you just go from there. Early detection is the best way to prevent breast cancer from spreading. So I just recommend and encourage you to get used to doing a self breast exam. It may be scary. I remember in college, I used to do them like and I still do. I used to do a monthly and I ended up one month finding a lump. It was a change. I had never had it, you know, it had never been there before. I had never noticed it before and it actually scared me. So I made an appointment to my doctor. I was really young. I was like early 20s, probably 1920 and the doctor didn't believe me. So I went in with my mom and then it was actually a resident and he actually felt it and so he had to call in his attending and then the attending actually felt it so they scheduled me to have a biopsy done. Thank God it was benign. But if I would have never did the self breast exam, I would have never known. And I got good news, but you know, people are out there that do self breast exams and they don't. So the earlier you can find it, the better. As far as mammograms for those who are 40 to 49 is various different recommendations. So I recommend that you go into your primary care doctor and actually talk to them about it and see what's the best treatment for you or the best way to go about getting the mammogram. Some scientists or some researchers suggest that starting at age 40, you should get a mammogram every year. Then some suggest that the age 45, you should get it every year. Some suggest that you shouldn't start getting it until age 50. So it's like a personal preference. You go in, you talk to your doctor. If you have high risk, of course, you want to go in and get your mammograms done, but otherwise, then you and your doctor can make a plan that makes you feel comfortable. I have gotten my first mammogram at 40 and then I would probably not get another one until 45 but that is my personal opinion you know I still do my self breast exams so if there are changes then I will go in I can get one done but like I said I recommend and encourage you to go in to talk to your physician and make whatever plan is right for you. But in the meantime, please make sure you're doing those monthly self breast exams. And it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so anyone out there who's experienced breast cancer, you're in my prayers, your family's in my prayers, I know it can be a very hard road. And then for those who have beat breast cancer or who are in remission, best of luck to you, much success, and um, I'm so happy you were able to get through that. So with all that being said, I just put together a lookbook and I wanted to recognize, you know, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And so a bunch of these looks, well, all the looks are just based on different pink outfits. I chose five different looks. They're all going to be fall outfits because it's October. So I hope you enjoy the look. So the first look is what I have on now. I have on a sweater. This is from Boohoo, I think. I have on some faux leather shorts. 
And then just my nine west suede boots. I have on this necklace, this gold necklace from Urban Outfitters. And then just some gold earrings that I've had for years. So this is just the fall outfit. You can always throw, you can take it into winter if you want. You can throw over like a trench or whatever. You can put tights on up under the boots just to warm yourself up. But of course the sweater is pink, although everything else is like a camel color. But this is the first outfit. Now this outfit has me feeling grown and sexy. So the sweater is from Boohoo. The pants are from New York & Co. The shoes, I think I had them on sale a while ago. Maybe from Neiman Marcus, I think. And then this is just my baby Dior. And then I just have on rainbow accessories, both of these, the ring and the bracelet purchased from TJ Maxx along with the earrings. And then the watch is just from Juicy Couture. It's the whole outfit for me. You know, sometimes you just have those outfits that make you feel good. And that's this. So when you feel good, confidence comes through and then you look good also. Right, here's my third outfit, pretty sure. This blazer is from ASOS. The dress is from Boohoo, it's just the baby doll dress. And then the shoes are from Shoe Dazzle. They're really old. And then I just have my Michael Kors purse. So this outfit just makes me feel really flirty, feminine. Be nice to go to brunch in with your girl. So this shirt is just from New York & Co. The pants, the faux leather pants that flare out, they're from Zara. I have these pink mules from Steve Madden. And then the Michael Kors purse I just purchased from TJ Maxx. Hey okay, lovelies, this is the last outfit. I have these jeans from Old Navy. The top is from Farfetch from Attico. The shoes are from Jeffrey Campbell. And then I just have my baby Dior. Earrings are from TJ Maxx.
So lovelies, I hope you enjoyed the video and the five outfits that I styled for you. Please remember to do your self breast exams monthly. If you find a lump, please don't be scared. Just follow up with your doctor. I think like more than like 40% of the lumps that are found are like benign. So please, or non-cancerous. So please don't be scared to do your self breast exams. And if you do find something that wasn't there before or something that was different from the month before, make sure you go in and follow up with your physician. I also forgot to mention part of the self breast exam is self visualization. You wanna stand in front of a mirror with your shirt off just to look at your breasts. You want to first look at them with both arms down to make sure that they're no, there's no dimpling, nothing going on with your nipples, any um, differences in, in between the two. And then you wanna hold both arms up and take a look at it that way to make sure, again, there's no dimpling, no changes in your nipples or anything like that. You wanna have no discharge from your nipples. If you are like, if you squeeze them or anything like that and you have any discharge, you wanna go get that checked out. If you're pregnant, you know, nursing, that's totally different. But if like none of that is going on and you have discharge from your breasts, then that's something to go to the doctor to have them look at. And nobody knows your body like you do. No one can advocate for your health like you can. So it's just really important that you do all you can at home to take care of yourself, to take care of your health, and then go into your doctor. And then if they don't believe you, you make sure that you make it known that this is really important to you, that this is a serious issue. Cause like I said, I was young, they didn't believe me. And then once they felt it, like I kept pushing, like there is a lump there, it's something going on there. And then of course they followed up on it. You just have to advocate for yourself and you have to, you know, push your doctors if they're not listening and go somewhere else. But if it's important to you, if it's a change, if it's something that you're concerned about, then make that known. So I know this video was a little different today, but like I said, I do have a passion for healthcare as well as beauty. And I just wanted to come to you and share that with you. I hope you enjoyed the video. So please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you won't miss any future videos. And as always, thank you for spending a part of your day with me. And I hope to see you in my next video.